Hey class, so this video is all about taking the demand curve, marginal revenue, and see what it looks like on the graph. And how are we able to tell um, profit, revenue, costs, all that stuff for an imperfectly competitive graph. In the previous video, we looked at this chart, this table, how it all kind of fits and pieces together. Um, we have a price of the product, the quantity, total revenue, our marginal revenue, and average revenue. Previous videos are all about why marginal revenue is going to be different than price. For perfect competition, they're equal to one another. But now we have to lower the price by one to sell one more. Now for a firm, for an imperfectly competitive firm, if they want to sell one more, they have to lower the price a little bit more and increase that, change the marginal revenue a little bit as well. Also, um, the demand for this product as well, they're not going to be willing to, they don't want to supply more than this amount. They're kind of like the price of the product they're charging is going to be what the demand is going to be. They're not going to supply more than that, the, than that than it is the quantity at that price because it's kind of pointless to produce more than what consumers will buy anyway. So since they are kind of are the whole market, they'll produce um, according to the demand curve line. So I have the demand curve, it all kind of pictured out out here, demand. Now, we know demand is equal to the price. Demand and consumers are going to face, price and demand, all the same. Also, we have average revenue equal to this as well due to the math of the total revenue divided by the quantity equals our um, average revenue, the same thing as the price. So we have dark. Now, before Mr. Dark was all one line for perfect competition because it was perfectly flat, now we have a downward sloping, so our marginal revenue is going to be a little bit different. So bear with me. Here's our, um, our points on our graph based upon our quantity and our price and our demand curve there. Now, marginal revenue is going to be a little bit different. Now, it starts off at the same point of 10 and 1. Good, right there. Now our demand curve is going to be a little bit less. I'll use a different colored marker for this. Now at a price of nine dollars, yeah, the quantity demanded is two. You see that up there. Our marginal revenue is actually going to be eight. So a quantity of two, marginal revenue is going to be eight. We start seeing it go down as slightly steeper slope. A uh, quantity of three, price is at eight. But marginal revenue is going to be at six. So quantity of three, we're going to be at three, and then there's six. Um, the price of that product is going to be at eight. So we can kind of continue this graph. I'll do a few more lines. Uh, quantity of four, the marginal revenue is going to be four, and the price is going to be at seven. So we have four and four. Actually, we write about. Here, price of seven, marginal revenue four. It's going to keep on going down and down. Imagine that being more kind of a straight line. And then it's going to be two at this value, and six is going to be zero. All right, so there we kind of have our modular revenue curve, and at seven, it's going to be a negative two down there even further. That's kind of what our curve is supposed to look like. I'll make this a little bit nicer here. Uh, about, let's just say right here. Okay, I'm going to throw in a cost curve button. So let's just say that at a quantity of three, that's going to be meeting the modular revenue curve at eight. I'll draw the cost curve going up like that. Now, the marginal cost, marginal revenue, same rules still apply as back in perfect competition. Our profit maximizing quantity is right here. But the actual price that we're charging for this is going to be at $8. So yes, marginal revenue is six, but the actual price of the product at that quantity is gonna be up here at eight. I also can tell us our average revenue. Because we know that the average revenue is equal to total revenue minus the quantity. Well, if our average revenue is equal to eight and our quantity is three, we know that our total revenue is gonna be 24. So this box right here is equal to 24. This value of eight at average revenue, quantity of three, this whole box is 24 for our total revenue at that specific point. Now our costs, I'm just gonna throw in ATC 
in here as well. It has to be minimum at MC, and then it goes back up again. Now this firm is actually making a profit. I'll tell you why, because we have our average revenue, ATC is kind of similar. ATC is equal to total cost minus the quantity. Now I'm just kind of, it'd be a little bit more drawn out if it was more of a test. Let's just say the average total cost at three units of profit maximize the quantity is going to be at seven. So ATC is equal to seven at a quantity of three. Now what the total cost then is going to be 21. Meaning that this whole box, seven and three, is equal to 21. The whole big blue box is equal to 24. So the total profit at three units is then this area there. This video, be sure you know how to measure marginal revenue. This all is telling us is the profit maximizing quantity. What the actual price is and how we figure out the revenue is going to be up here. The cost is going to be at that point. That difference then is going to be our profit. Now, this firm, this graph is showing a profit. If I were to erase um, or try to maybe shift the ATC curve line, I want to show maybe a firm making a loss. Still the profit maximizing quantity of MR and MC. If AT now is instead down below, it has to be above this quantity for it to count as part of it being a loss. Our total costs are greater than our total revenue since profit equals revenue minus costs. Now we have a negative profit or then a loss. It's still producing at the profit maximizing quantity. Be sure to know that. The next video is going to be looking at all the different points on this graph and kind of what they can tell us and kind of the main significance of a lot of these points. Stay tuned.